And I'm doing this because I think that me being vice president will help improve people's lives. So I, I, I accept their attacks, but I, I think that it is a little bit of projection. Dana, if you think about, uh, you know, j just take a couple of days ago. Tim Waltz gives this big speech. He's been announced as the VP nominee. And I remember when I had just been announced as the VP nominee, I gave my big speech and I saw my wife and I gave her a big hug and a kiss because I love my wife and I think that's what a normal person does. Uh, Tim Waltz gave his wife a nice firm Midwestern handshake and then tried to sort of awkwardly correct for it. So I think that what it is is two people, Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz, who aren't comfortable in their own skin because they aren't comfortable with their policy positions for the American people. And so they're name calling instead of actually telling the American people how they're going to make their lives better. I think that's weird, Dana, but look, they can call me whatever they want to. You're you know it, you feel it. These guys are creepy, and yes, just weird as hell. That's what you see. As our borders are actually set a lot of open border policies. They suspended. You know, she's not actually, she wasn't the borders. Are, oh, that was what the media called her. She know, assumed but, but, the title. She had control over a lot of our border policy at a time well, was the, the when they were suspending. The let, let, let me finish, John. Okay. The time they were suspending deportations, yeah. they stopped. Donald Trump's remain in Mexico policy, and they reinstituted catch and release. They basically threw open the gates of our country, and now we have a ton of fentanyl, a ton of people. But suffering, how are you going to get 10 to 15 of to 20 million people? Well, the out of first the thing you have to do is to stop the bleeding, stop the open border, get Kamala Harris out of there, and actually reimplement the remain in Mexico policy, rebuild or finish Donald Trump's border wall. And you do that, and you stop the bleeding. Now, you're right. Once you do that, once you stop Kamala Harris's open border policies, you've got to do something with the people who are already here. And I think that you take a sequential approach to it. You are going to have to deport some people. If you're not willing to deport a lot of people, you're not willing to have a border when there are 20 million illegal aliens in but our country. But 10 to 15 million people, this is like, I mean... Well, John, I think it's the wrong attitude to take of it. Okay, I mean, so there's... So there, so there, doors and ask people for their well, papers? again, but I, I, do? Let me, I think there's a wrong, this is the wrong attitude towards it, right? There's 20 million people here illegally. You start with what's achievable. You do that, and then you go on to what's achievable from there. I think that if you deport a lot of violent criminals, and frankly, if you make it harder to hire illegal labor, which undercuts the wages of American workers, I think you go a lot of the way to solving the illegal immigration problem. But look, President Trump is absolutely right. You cannot have a border unless you're willing to deport some people. I think it's interesting that people focus on, well, how do you deport 18 million people? Let's start with 1 million. That's where Kamala Harris has failed, and then we can go from there.